So this is the beginning of part five of our activities with it. So the next stage when we move on to this is I'd like for you to click on each one of these uh, buttons right now. We're going to go in and we're going to change the ID and the content, the name of it, and, uh, so you can see what's going on with this at the same time. So um, click on the first one. And remember, this first one just says button. If you look at the ID over here, uh, it just says button. It should default to button. I'm going to... If you notice, I've been what's called batching these things to do these in consistent batch with it, so you don't forget each one of these things when you do this. Uh, so the first one I'm going to do is button, and I'm just going to in the ID in the field with it. I just, it's going to say button. I'm going to add a number one to it. Uh, on the second one, click on the button on the second one with it. So it says now uh, rename the resource ID button and its usage is button one with it, and just just do. Uh, that it should fix it right uh, I did refactor and it fixed it so click on the second one uh, button two all right button three button four and I go down the list the last one is button five does everybody have that make sure you saw what I just did was button one I had to click on it and saved it with it as well so that's all right and and that's what you have right now with it all right um, the next step the next step is I need for you to come down and find the all attributes. Let me just collapse some of this so you know in each one of them. So I click on the button one and I'm going to expand the attributes. You see all this coming down here in the attributes with it. So I have all the attributes in here with it. I like for you to um, ex expand the all attributes with it, and if you can see and find the one, uh, there's a text. Uh, uh, on the button with it um, and I need for you to look and find maybe scroll down <clears throat> and I uh, this is under all attributes and if you scroll down scroll down or take the scroll bar if you don't have them uh, and drag it down you see uh, where it says right now um, it says button right now, right? You, or you see this this attribute, um, and this is everything that you see. It's label here. It's what's called attributes, okay? To the uh, it's, it's the category called attributes. But the individual um, uh, attributes for each one of these things that you can actually put in with this. So we want the text instead of saying this word button uppercase B U T T O N. This is this text right here. So I'd like for you to change that text for me. Just type in go to, sorry, go to example one activity. Okay. Now here's what I need for you to do. Uh, don't, don't hit enter yet. Select all that content. Copy it. Com command C. Okay. Copy it so it stores it in there with it. And once you've done that, you know, place your cursor after the Y in the word activity and hit enter. All right. So that that all I, once the moment I've done that, look at the first look at the text up here with it. All right. I'm going to leave this attributes and the text right here. I'm going to click on the button, the second one where it says still says button. I'm going to copy and paste. I'm just going to control V, paste that in there. Command C's to uh, control C's to copy. Uh, change that to go to activity two. And then I come to the right of that Y, an activity, hit enter with it, right? It updates the button on here as well. Go to your third button right here with it. Instead of the word button here in the text, paste that in there. Control V, paste that in there. Take up the one, put the number three, come to the right of that Y, hit enter. <coughs> that puts it in uh, as well. Button here, same thing. Change that to a, uh, go to example number four with it and come to the right of that Y, hit enter. You know that changes with it as well. So again, I'm in my fifth button right here, uh, just pasting in my, and that's number five, enter. Okay, so I have example, go to example one activity all the way down to go to example five with it. It's up to you. you. You're welcome to come in and add 
a little space in here if you want to. It doesn't really matter with it. <clears throat> with it, I just added a five, four, three. It's all aesthetic with it as well. So make sure you've done this right properly with it. All right. And then um, uh, if you need to slow it down, make sure you know each one of the buttons I click on it changes. The, you can see the attributes in here as well. Okay. All right. Um, <clears throat> let me move on to the next stage. So before I depart uh, the, uh, the, 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 this code right here, the activity underscore underscore main dot XML, activity underscore dot underscore main dot XML. I want to show you this. I, I show it to you on the design side. I like to show it to you on the code side for this as well. So click on this, on the code. Your code should look like this. Everything that we have done with the dimension and how we aligned it, everything with it. Here's and here's what I want you to go through. I'm going to screen capture all of this. Uh, I will put all of this onto uh, our instruction. It is intended. I really intend it to have a screenshot graphics mainly with it. I do not want to. I could have pasted this in a text and have you. I, I don't want you to copy and paste this. I want you to type this every line if you need to with it. But <clears throat> compare your design side of this that everything if you've done it right uh, over in the, the design over here if you did this on the design properly with it you should have generated the XML code for your design let me collapse all the attributes here <clears throat> with it so I'm going to click on the code and that's how I got the code this is for the activity underscore main so each one of these things I have a button that links to all the way down to the bottom with this as well all right so um, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a screenshot of this, and then I'm gonna put this in our instruction in here as well. So just to let you know, here's the Android and ID, every setting that you did in there, it's in here. The 16 by 32, the all that stuff with it. So one of the things I want to point out here here is that the constraint of to the end to the top uh, is based on to the parent with it. And this is each one of these are attributes and these are values or properties that you refer to. So it is an Android and it's the app that's the category which is the attributes with it. And inside of it, you have these specific attributes that you, you set it to it. And these values between the quotes are values or, or considered properties with it. Just some lingo that we need to actually to communicate to as well with it. And here's your first button, here's your second button, here's your third button, here's your fourth button, here's your uh, uh, fifth button right here. Okay, one, five buttons that we put on here. All right, so this is what it looks like with it. I will uh, take a screenshot of this, and I'm going to paste this uh, screenshot over in uh, our Word document in here as well. All right, if you like to... Uh, uh, I'll, I'll pause the video right here. If you, uh, This is all the way to the top, line one. Uh, for this and um, there's more to this as well but I will take a static uh, page for this as well and this will conclude the fifth video